Hi there, this is Navneet and welcome to my channel Navneet Technical. Today in this video, we are going to see how to install VS Code Editor along with Node.js and start our first React app. So without any delay, let's start. First of all, open any of your favorite browser and just type in VS Code and enter. Yeah, you can see uh, open this first link itself. You can download it by clicking on this download or just uh, click over here. It will open a drop down for us uh, and click over here. As my machine is of a Windows uh, that is of 64 bit, I am clicking over here. If in case it's Mac or OS or Linux, uh, click over here. Yeah, it is saying that uh, thanks for downloading VS Code for Windows and my downloading should start shortly. Actually, my net is slow, I think so, so it is taking time. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we'll install Node.js. Yeah, it is started downloading VS Code executable file. Uh, now, again, uh, open a new tab uh, in your Chrome browser or any of the browser and just type in Node.js. Okay, and just click enter. Yeah, this one itself, Node.js.org. Click on it. Yeah, now in order to download, uh, you have actually, but actually we have two versions over here, but uh, it is saying that uh, this version is of recommended for most of you. So I'll download this. Just click on it. Uh, it will download a file for us. Yeah, you can see over here it started downloading, uh, which is of 29.1 MB of Node.js and uh, 60.5 MB of a VS Code. Our files has been downloaded and one more thing, uh, if it is not Windows in your case, just click on this uh, downloads and uh, you can choose whatever you want uh, from here. Yeah, now in order to install, uh, just uh, you can click on it to install or you can just go to your file manager and uh, install from there. But for now, I'll just click on it. Yeah, or do accept the agreement and click next leave everything as default and click install uh, it will install for us uh, it may uh, it will just take uh, one to two minutes yeah it is saying that uh, whether to launch or uh, not uh, after installation uh, i'll i don't want to launch now uh, i will just see how to launch vs code in just uh, in a couple of minutes uh, so now you can click on this finish and now uh, we installed a visual studio code successfully now let us install this node in order to do that just click on it it is saying that uh, computing space requirements it will take a couple of minutes so be patient it is saying that uh, migrating future states from related applications yeah uh, now uh, just uh, click next now uh, make sure we accept the license agreement and click next and click next uh, don't uh, change anything just leave it uh, as it is default and click next and click next and click on install mm, it may take a while over here so just uh, be patient Yeah, it is saying that uh, do you want to allow changes? Of course, yes. Yeah, finally it has been uh, successfully installed. So now just uh, click on finish. Now, uh, in order to verify whether our Node.js is installed perfectly or not, uh, just open your command prompt uh, and just type in nvd node minus or hyphen v and click enter. Yeah, it has been installed successfully and the version is a 14.15.1. Uh, that is what uh, we have installed. Or uh, you can uh, check like this as well, node hyphen hyphen 
version uh, it will also give the same result of 14.10.1 and let us see the version of npm which is installed so just type in npm minus v and it is of 6.14.8 so uh, by this uh, we can say, uh, say that uh, uh, node.js is uh, perfectly installed in our system so now uh, let us see how to open a visual studio code okay now i just want to open uh, my visual studio code in a d drive and uh, i made a folder for this uh, react so i just want to code all my projects over here so that's why i opened uh, in into i went into d and just open folder now you go to uh, your folder where you want to code all your projects and just uh, click over here on empty space or uh, clear all this now just type in cmd and click enter now uh, a command prompt will be opened in that particular folder now what we have to do is just type in code space and dot now which will open a uh, visual studio code in that particular folder for us it will take some time actually yeah it is opening it may take some time to load yeah finally our vs code is opened in that particular folder see uh, our folder name is react now we will see some of the shortcuts actually in this vs code now control b control b is a shortcut for opening the sidebar you can see over here the violet color one which is uh, closing and opening uh, we can do that with the help of control b and uh, control j is a shortcut for opening the terminal see uh, as I mean uh, as fast as you press uh, control j uh, this terminal will be opened and if you press again control j the terminal will be disappeared and another shortcut for opening the terminal is control tilde uh, which is uh, below the escape key and uh, you can open the terminal from here as well you can see i think you can see over here terminal just click on it and just click on new terminal another terminal will be opened see you can see here uh, two uh, this is, so this is the second terminal which is open and you can navigate to uh, different terminals uh, by clicking on this you can see uh, it present uh, two terminals are being opened so you can navigate through this two different terminals yeah it will take some time to load the terminal actually and in order to uh, now we will install our react app okay in order to do that uh, uh, just type in uh, just head over to command prompt again or you can do this uh, in vs code as well but uh, it is taking some time to load the terminal so that's why i am doing from the this uh, command prompt now so just type in uh, as soon as you go to that folder that is react where you want to code uh, just type in npx and create 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 hyphen react react create react hyphen app and what do you want to name this app okay uh, i'll just name it as a first react app okay so if i rst first react app so uh, just uh, type in npx create hyphen react hyphen app and whatever you want to give the name you can give and click enter what it will do is uh, it will uh, create a boiler code i mean a boiler plate where you can start coding with in react i think uh, it will take some time maybe 10 minutes or 20 minutes or half an hour based on the system specifications uh, my system is of a uh, 4 gigabytes of ram and i3 processor Oh, what is this error actually? Name can no longer contain capital letters. Okay, so I'll just uh, remove all the capital letters and just type in small letters first React app and click enter. 
it is saying that are creating a new react app installing packages yeah be patient sir. it will take some time to install all the files based on the internet connection and based on you you are a laptop or a desktop uh, specifications yeah let's see what is going on in our uh, vs code yeah you can see here a uh, first react app uh, that is what uh, we named there that is here first react app so it created a folder for us and where it generated a package.json file as well now just press ctrl b to close this sidebar okay now now we will see what are the changes will come to this package.json it may take uh, some 10 minutes or uh, 20 minutes uh, based on internet connectivity and the uh, system specifications so just be patient yeah finally our uh, react app uh, has been installed successfully and uh, it is saying that uh, just uh, go to your uh, first react app uh, by clicking cd first react app and in order to start your react app just uh, type in npm start so but we will uh, do this uh, npm start from our uh, vs code so you can now just uh, close this command prompt i'll just close my command prompt and i will just maximize my Visual Studio Code. Now you can see uh, the changes in the package.json. Okay, now just open your terminal by just uh, clicking Ctrl J or Ctrl tilde. Uh, make sure uh, you are in the right folder that is in React. But I should go to my first React app, right? So just type in cd uh, first first re ECT react and app so just click enter yeah now uh, in order to start our react app just uh, type in npm and start yeah it will take uh, some time to start the react app or oh, just uh, be patient And it will open our uh, react server in the default browser and my default browser is uh, chrome so uh, my react app that is a local host uh, uh, at 3000 will be opened in my google chrome so if uh, uh, microsoft edge or any other uh, i mean uh, maybe safari in your case if it is the default browser uh, react app will be started in that browser so but in my case as it is chrome so my react app will be started in chrome yeah, it is saying that uh, starting the development server yeah as i said uh, my local host will be open in google chrome so as my default browser is google chrome it is opening in google chrome it will take some time around uh, two to three minutes it is uh, loading now Uh, yeah guys uh, finally our react app has been started so uh, we successfully in in this video we successfully installed uh, vs code along with uh, node.js and uh, created a react app and also we started a react app as well so now uh, you can see in your visual studio code see uh, you can see the changes see it is saying that a uh, compile successfully and uh, it is uh, here you can see localhost uh, 3000 at localhost 3000 our server has been started and
and uh, this is the server which has been started so that's it for this video guys uh, in the next video we'll see something more about vs code and uh, we will start writing code in react